I made huge mistake of buying this laptop when I first started my data science course. And the moment I started building models, the keyboard and the internet felt like they are burning up. I could have brought a brand new laptop with the amount of money I spent on this just for repairs and upgrades. And I realized I'm not the only one. So many students buy the wrong laptop because they don't understand the basics. So today I'm breaking down the best laptops for data science capable of handling big data sets, training models and running AI tasks without slowing down. Next, we are going to break down each laptop of looking at what they are good at, what they are for and where they might start to fall off. The first laptop I want to show you is the Asus VivoBook Go 14 and it comes in a very approachable 41,990. It's powered by a Ryzen 5 Sandfire 20U which handles Python, Jupyter Notebooks and small datasets in Pandas and NumPy smoothly. You can even keep a few browser tabs open while coding and it won't slow down. The integrated Radeon GP won't let you train heavy neural networks but it's more than enough for data visualization, basic plotting and exploratory data analysis. The battery life is also solid at around 5 to 6 hours and the laptop weighs just around 1.38 kilos, making it super easy to carry between classes and cafes. Now RAM comes at 16GB soldered, but there is also one M.2 SSD slot for expanding storage later, which is great if you start working with bigger datasets. Now if you feel like you have outgrown the very basics and want something more powerful and durable, the Lenovo ThinkPad E14 priced at 52,716 is a perfect next step. It packs a Ryzen 5 Sandfire 35HS, giving a noticeable boost in real-world performance, tasks like pre-processing large or data sets, running multiple Jupyter notebooks or experimenting with mid-level machine learning models feel much smoother compared to the VivoBook. Its Radeon 680M GPU isn't CUDA enabled, so you still won't train huge neural networks, but it can handle CPU-based machine learning tasks or small GPU computations surprisingly well. Battery life also sits around 6 to 7 hours, and the build quality is classic of that ThinkPad, it's sturdy, business-like and built to last. It also supports dual-channel RAM slot up to 32 gigs and an M.2 SSD slot, making upgrades easy as your projects grow. Next, if you want to step into actual GPU-based machine learning, the Asus Tough Gaming A15, priced at 62,990, is where things get exciting. It's powered by a Ryzen 7 7435 hs and comes with an RTX 2050 GPU with 4GB of VRAM, which means you finally get the CUDA support. That opens the door to training small to mid-sized machine learning models in TensorFlow and PyTorch. In real life, this setup feels super responsive. You can run multiple Jupyter Notebooks, VS Code, and even train a small convolution neural network without your laptop is struggling. Now the battery life drops to 2 to 3 hours and the laptop weighs around 2.2 kilos but that's a trade off for real GP performance you will get. It also has dual RAM slots up to 32 gigs and two M.2 SSD slots, so you can expand memory and storage as your datasets grow. Going a step further, if you want something for more serious machine learning workloads, the HP Victus 15, priced at 65,990, is a fantastic option. It features a Ryzen 5 8645HS CPU and an RTX 3050 GPU with 6GB of VRAM, which means you can comfortably train modded CNNs, NLP models, and work with medium-sized datasets. Large CSV pre-processing or running multiple ML scripts at once, no problem. And you can also run LLMs for the first time here. And it can range up to 7D LLM models. Now the battery life sits around 2 to 3 hours and it weighs 2.3 kilos, making it a more of a desk focused machine than one you carry around all day. Like the Tough, it also supports dual channel RAM up to 32 gigs and dual M.2 SSD slots. Now if your focus is less on GPU training and more on analytics, visualization or dashboarding, the Asus VivoBook 16 OLED priced around 67,990 is excellent. It comes with an Intel Core i5 13420H and Intel USD graphics. Now you are not going to train deep learning models on this, but Python, Excel, Power BI, Tableau or any visualization heavy work, it runs super smooth. The 6 inch OLED display is absolutely stunning, vibrant, crisp and color accurate, which makes working on visual reports a real pleasure. Now the battery life is around 4 to 5 hours and at 1.8 kilos, it's light enough to carry anywhere. You can also upgrade the RAM up to 16 GB and add a 1 M.2 SSD slot later if you need more space. Alright, now we are entering serious power territory with the Lenovo Log, running a Ryzen 7 7435HS and an RTX 4050 6 GB GPU and is priced around 83,000. This combo makes everything multitasking, handling large datasets and running heavy Python projects feel completely effortless. You can have Jupyter Notebooks, VS Code and even 10 browser tabs open at once and it still won't break a sweat. Now the RTX 450 GPU is where things get exciting. This is your first real taste of CUDA acceleration. That means you can finally train deep learning models, large CNNs or NLP tasks comfortably without waiting ages for results. It's one of the best value GPUs out now for machine learning, modern, efficient and surprisingly quite under load. Now the battery life 
wife sits around 2 hours, which is fair considering the power inside, and it weighs around 2.4 kilos, a little hefty, but is still manageable for between home, college, or work if you can carry that much of heavy bag. Now you also get dual RAM slots up to 32GB and dual M.2 SSD slots, so you can easily upgrade as your projects grow. If you are someone who prioritizes portability but still want AI ready performance, the ASUS VivoBook S16 is seriously strong option, priced around 88000 it's powered by the Intel Core Ultra 5 225H and Intel R graphics and even includes Intel's AI Boost NPU. That combo makes data wrangling, multitasking and analysis feel super smooth and responsive. The Intel Arc GPU easily handles light machine learning training, visualization and local inference tasks. And with the direct ML and the open Vino support, you can accelerate small AI workloads efficiently. Battery life is excellent at around 7 to 8 hours and it weighs around 1.5 kilos, so it's perfect for students, travelers, or hybrid professionals. And that 16 inch OLED display it's, is stunning, perfect for dashboards, visual analytics, or long coding sessions. You get a 16 GB of LPDDR5X RAM, you can't really upgrade it. But fortunately, there is an extra M.2 SSD slot for future store upgrades. Next up, we have got a laptop made for professionals, analytics, and students who want something clean, reliable, and incredibly efficient. This is the Apple MacBook Air M4, priced at around 94,990, powered by the Apple's M4 chip, and with its 8 core GPU, it can even handle on device machine learning, TensorFlow metal acceleration, and small neural networks with ease. But the only problem here is that it doesn't have CUDA, so you can't really train the LLMs. But you can run the LLM inference up to 32B parameters. Now the battery life is just unmatched, up to 10 hours and at 1.24 kilos, it's super light, completely silent because it's a fanless laptop and perfect for long work sessions. The liquid retina display is crisp, color accurate and great for coding or visualization work. The only catch, you can't upgrade it later. A bit more money, I would advise you to go for the 24GB RAM. Now, if you're ready to dive into serious machine learning, AI prototyping or GPU heavy workloads, the Asus Gaming V16 2025 is where things get starts to get real. Priced around 1,990, it's built for people who want raw performance without breaking the bank. It's powered by the Intel's latest Intel Core 5 210H paired with an RTX 50 8GB GPU giving you full code attention and RT Core acceleration. That means you can finally train deep learning models, computer vision projects, or even fine-tune smaller LLMs locally without waiting hours for results. Battery life sits around 2-3 to three hours and at 2.3 kgs, it's clearly made for desk setup rather than portability. But the best part, it's fully upgradable, with dual channel RAM slots up to 64GB and 2 M.2 SSD slot, so you can can expand as your projects and datasets grow. Finally, for the absolute top tier performance, we have got the Lenovo Lock with the Intel Core i5, 13700HX and RTX 5060 with 8GB VRAM. It's priced around 121910 and trust me, this thing is a mini workstation disguised as a laptop. Meaning, you can now train larger datasets, build advanced machine learning models, or even fine-tune small LLMs locally. No cloud needed. Now the battery life sits around 2 hours, and at 2.6 kilos, it's built more for power than portability. But the upgrade potential is massive. Dual RAM slots up to 64 GB, and dual M.2 SSD slots up to 2 TB. Everything you need to scale as your project grows. But before anything else, make sure you check out the best buying links down below in the description box. All the laptops I talked about in this video are there in the list and using those links to buy the laptops won't cost you anything extra but it will help me support the channel and make more content like this if this video helped you don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and share these with your friends who are looking for the best laptop for data science in 2025 drop a comment down below and tell me which laptop are you planning to buy and what kind of data science machine learning or ai work you really do so that's it thanks for watching stay awesome and i will see you in the next one